Hello everyone, it's Budget Bunny here and today's video is going to be a tour of our Pacific Parallax Beaker's Cage. Now you may recognize this cage from previous videos featuring Ella. Ella was our first Pacific Parallax who passed away a little over a year ago. So when we adopted Beaker, he inherited this cage. It is a Hagen Vision cage. I am unsure of the model because we have had it about six or seven years now. So I absolutely love this cage. Like I said, we've had it about six or seven years now. We've had no issues with it. It's held up well. It's quite a large cage, I think, for one parallel, which always makes me happy because the more space, the better. And I find it very easy to clean. And we just have his cage sitting on top of a microwave stand. What we did when we bought the unit was actually just not assemble the part where the microwave would slide into and it provided the perfect base for this cage to sit on and then it gives me a little storage area underneath as well. Hi Beaker! Hi! So I'm not sure how this tour is going to go. Beaker may be a little camera shy. We've had him a little over a year now but he is a rescue bird. So we're still working on taming and socializing him. So I've just opened the two top doors and we'll start up there. This cage does have four doors which I also love because it makes it really easy to access all areas of the cage. So just at the very back of the cage he has a dish that's filled with his Hagen pellets. And just at the front of the cage he has this hanging toy that has rope and a bell and different wood shoes on it as well as some pumice to file down his nails and beak. In the back left corner he has his water dish. Now I do get a lot of Beaker's toys off of Amazon so there's this company that I believe is called Super Bird Creations and this is one of their toys. It's different wood shoes all strung together and Beaker absolutely loves to play with this one. Hanging from the top, Beaker also has this adorable plastic swing which he actually likes to use a lot. I do believe I have videos on Instagram and probably on my channel featuring him on his swing. On the back right hand side he has this little millet holder so when I feel like giving him a treat I just pop the millet in there. And then he has this toy that's these hard plastic rings and I've got that hanging down the right hand side of the cage but I also attached this other one that's these little jingle balls so that it hangs all the way down almost to the bottom of the cage. Hi Beaker! Hello handsome! Beaker might look a little silly right now because he's molting so he's got a lot of pin feathers. But you're still handsome, aren't you, bud? He's being very quiet right now because he's not sure what to think about the camera in his cage. Hello, buddy. We'll be done soon, okay? Now I do have this other metal clip at the back here. This is where his fresh food dish usually goes. But I am going to be bringing him out shortly to play on his play gym. So he's going to get his fresh food on there. So that's why this is empty. And towards the front right side of the cage I just have that little hanging bell that has little ropes so he can pull on the ropes and it makes the bell jingle. And then right at the front right here is where his seed dish is. And you can also see that I have wound one of these long rope toys all across the top of the cage towards the back. As you can see, Beaker does love to sit there and unravel these perches. Now he doesn't ingest any of the fibers from the perch. He'll just unravel them and leave them like that or occasionally I'll find pieces at the bottom of the cage. He is just a little guy so he doesn't do too much damage but I do find he loves untwisting things. Now this is one of Beaker's favorite toys. As you can see, it's well worn. This is a Hagen, I believe it's a natural treasure toy. They actually sent it to me a while ago with some goodies for all of the small pets, which was really, really nice of them. And Beaker absolutely loves this one. He hangs off it, he chews on it, he unravels everything. 
it is an all natural toy that's perfectly safe for him so I'm really glad that he likes that one so much. And just behind that you can see a green plastic perch and these are actually the original perches that came with this cage. Because your birds are on their feet all the time you want to make sure to provide a variety of different types of perches so that their feet stay nice, healthy, and strong. Now Beaker's favorite toy is just attached to the very back of the cage. All this toy is, is this little plastic roller with a bell inside, but he sits here upside down for hours rubbing his little neck on it. He absolutely loves that toy. And just hanging down from that top rope perch is this little mirror toy. He also loves to play with this one as well. I find he loves the hard plastic ring toys because he likes to grip them in his beak and shake them around and cause the bells to jingle. And as you can see, Beaker is just hanging out on another rope perch I have wrapped around the cage. I got these off Amazon as well, but you can pick them up at places like PetSmart. I do really like these perches because you can easily manipulate them and move them around the cage. And then they've got the two ends that just screw onto your cage bars. So I like to use those because I can easily change them around as I want. And just in the back left corner is another one of those green perches. And just above that green perch, he does have one of these mirror perches. This was actually where Ella slept every night. She absolutely loved this perch, Beaker hasn't quite figured them out, so he'll be like hanging off it and playing in it and it looks really adorable but also very clumsy. So I don't see him on these too much unless he wants to play. Um, just to let you guys know, I did just clean out his cage. So the mirrors are not dirty, they're just spotty from all the water droplets of um, spraying everything down. So just hanging from that green perch, he has this rope and string toy here. So this one's just at the bottom here. I can't remember the brand name of it or where I even got it, to be honest. Now on the left-hand side of the cage, he has this perch that is made out of hard pumice stone. So it's really good for them to keep their beak filed if they rub their beak back and forth on it, as well as their nails filed because of its abrasive texture, when they stand on it, it will file down their nails. And he also has this little tic-tac-toe game that's sitting at the back of the cage. The O's have little mirrors on them and the X's and O's are actually on little, um, on little spindles so that if he moves them, they'll all spin around. And just in front of that, he has this Bird Creations toy. Now this one offers some foraging options because it does have some paper bits that are all wrapped inside a willow ball and then it has some little willow rings and wooden bits and it also has a little bell so that when he plays with it, it makes a little jingling noise. And just behind that one is this little wooden man. He's made out of all little bits of, I believe it was coconut rope and coconut pieces as well as some wood wooden pieces. Birds are incredibly intelligent, so it's really important to provide them with a variety of toys to keep their little birdie brains busy. And toys like this one, which encourage foraging behavior, which is a natural behavior to a bird, are really important too. Toys made out of different textures and things, especially wooden toys, are really good to keep their beaks trim as well because their beaks never stop growing. And Beaker also has this little rattle toy. When he moves it around, these little beads inside move, so it makes a little rattling noise, and it has little bells on it. And then just in front of that, he has another one of those green perches. And at the front right-hand side of the cage, he does have a mineral block as well as a cuddle bone. Now, Usually the cuddle bone comes with a little metal clip so you can attach it to the cage. But since I already had the metal clip, they did have them sold separately, which I thought was a great idea at the time. 
but because the size of the cuddle balloon varies when I got it home, I couldn't get it to fit in the clip. And I actually, while attempting to do that, broke both the clip and the cuddle bone in half. So I've just kind of wedged it in between the cage bars, but I do find Beaker really likes to enjoy both of these. The cuddle bone especially is a really good source of calcium, so I would definitely recommend it if you have female birds, especially those prone to egg laying like Ella was. Now Beaker doesn't hang out at the bottom of the cage much, so these lower toys don't really get used to much. But they are here if he ever wants to dance around down there. So there's just another little wood dangling toy there. And then he has one more of the rope perches that just goes from the front and back of the lower part of the cage. And this is pretty impossible to really show you. Maybe I can move it a little bit. But he's just got a little bird ladder here as well. And actually first thing in the morning, the sun hits this part of the cage so I'll often come down and he's sitting right here on the top of his bird ladder enjoying the sunshine which is really really cute. And on the very top of his cage I also have another rope perch. This is just so that if he's not ready to go right back into his cage but he wants to dance around on top he's got somewhere comfy to perch. Alright everyone so I do hope that you enjoyed seeing Beaker's cage. Um, I know on my previous Parallax cage tour, I get a lot of comments saying the cage looks awesome and then I get other comments of people saying it's too crowded and the bird can't fly. So just to be clear, this cage is not a flight cage. It is nowhere near big enough for a flight cage. Um, Beaker doesn't have his wings clipped. He does get out for long hours every single day. There's a lot of toys and things in here because Birds are incredibly intelligent and they need lots to keep them busy. So the idea is when he gets locked away in here in the evening that he's got lots to do so that he won't be bored until he gets to come and play again. And I will be doing a tour of his play area in another video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching guys, bye!